Lane threw to a talented array of targets, including wide receivers Jerome Pavin of E.G. Green, number 84. The Colts also possessed a productive tight end tandem in Ken Dilger, number 85, and Marcus Pollard, number 81. The fun-loving Pollard started his career in Indianapolis and spent 10 years with the Colts. He played the 05 and the 06 seasons in Detroit. He battled a hamstring injury last year but came within one catch of matching a career high in 2005. Cameron Wong gives fans the formal introduction in today's edition of Meet the New Hawk. Starting tight end for the Seahawks from Valley, Alabama. After 13 years in the NFL, I know you have to have a couple of nicknames. <laughs> yeah. I've been quite, getting quite a few since I've been here. Grandpa, Gramps, Unk, <laughs> the old timer, rocking chair, washed down, washed up. But uh, it's all fun. I think a lot of guys do respect me. I get a lot of guys, don't call me that. Well, it's only out of respect. And so when they say it's out of respect, then. I'll if you could play any it. other professional sport, what would it be? Professional sport, does golf count? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be right out there with Tiger Woods. Uh, I love golf. I enjoy watching. I've been watching. I watch every weekend that it's on. If I couldn't golf, I'd probably play basketball. What's your best round ever? Don't lie to me. I'll look it up. Look it up. 78. Get out of here. 78. What's something that people don't know about Marcus Pollard? That I enjoy bull riding <laughs> and country music. <laughs> Please don't do that during the season. I won't. I won't. Country music and bull riding. A lot of people probably don't expect you know me to be a guy that enjoys country music and uh, be into pro bull riding, but I am. Sing something. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots. <laughs> Very nice. Very well, with nice. the young guys, it just kind of helps out in general, showing them the right way to do things. Yeah, and the right way to be a teammate. I mean, and that's the one thing that no matter where he's been, whether it's Indianapolis or when he was in uh, Detroit, you talk to people that have been in the locker room with him, and they just love the guy. They think he is a great guy. Good personality, as we've seen, but also a, a locker room leader. A lot of guys go out front and they tell everybody they're a leader, but they're not really. Some guys are leaders that nobody really knows they're leaders because they do little things in the locker room, and Marcus Pollard's reputation is of being one of those guys. What? is one of the good guys. My day-to-day -day consists of helping guys find an apartment, to helping guys figure out where to get a haircut, to um, internships, to programs, to uh, domestic violence, substance abuse, should they get their car washed this week. So my hat is multifaceted. After an illustrious 14-year career as a tight end in the NFL, including 10 seasons with the Colts, Pollard did not want to leave the game. I would sit on the couch on Sundays and, and watch and just think about how much I missed it. The locker room, the atmosphere, the meetings, the smell, um, the energy that came along with football. But his career would take a turn in 2013 after a meeting at the Senior Bowl with New Jack's head coach, Gus Bradley. Gus said, what do you want to do? I said, I was trying to get a coach an intern internship and uh, just see if I'm going to like it, you know? And uh, so he called me about three weeks later and said, Marcus, I don't have any coaching thing, anything available in coaching, but I got something from what I hear you'll be really good at. And I said, okay, what's that, Gus? He said, the director of player development. Now in year two with the Jags, Pollard says he's here for the long haul. I really love it. Honestly, I really do. Um, I get to meet the guys coming in. I get to form this relationship with them. I get to follow them from start to finish. Well, the coaches, on the other hand, they get to see the player, but I get to know the person. And to me, that's the most exciting part. To me, I get to know both the player and the person. 